Welcome to the East Organ Chamber here at Trinity Cathedral, and this is our video on Wednesday, the 3rd of March. And we're going to have a little side-by-side -side, uh, comparison for how the uh, action works, how the sound is produced uh, in the front organ versus the flentrop in the back. So to explain a little bit about how the front organ works, here is John Muller, and uh, he's going to take it, take it away. Hello, uh, welcome to the uh, East Organ Chamber. Um, so the organ in back and the organ in front have two different types of action. The organ in front here has what is known as electro-pneumatic action. So when the organist depresses a key, there is an electrical signal sent from the keyboard up here into the organ. And in simple terms, the electrical signal energizes one of these magnets here. And so there's, that's where you get the electro. And then the pneumatic portion of the action uh, begins to take place here. So when this magnet operates, it sets into motion a series of pneumatic switches. It causes that to work. And then that causes something else to work, and in uh, parts of the organ it gets even more complicated. But in the end, this magnet opens a valve that is underneath each of the pipes in the organ. So you depress a key, electrical signal is set, uh, pneumatics operate, the valve underneath the pipe drops, air goes into the pipe, and the pipe speaks. And that's uh, kind of just the basic understanding of how electro-pneumatic organs operate. Mm -hmm.